In our previous video, we comprehensively addressed the many components of calculating forces and tension associated with rigging during hoisting of load. I have gone over the computation of sling tension for two lifting points, four lifting points, combined angle of sling and the use of a spreader bar or without it for lifting. Here are some key highlights from the previous video. If you haven't watched it yet, I will include the video link in the description. Allow us to review the key considerations to bear in mind during your planning phase. We must not overlook the importance of the sling reduction factor during hoisting of load. There are a several factors influence the reduction in sling capacity caused by the type of rigging method. It's essential for riggers and lifting supervisor or lifting engineer to consider the sling reduction factor when calculating the safe working load of a lifting sling to ensure that the lifting operation is performed safely and within the rated capacity of the equipment. Failure to account for the sling angle factor can lead to overloading of the sling, posing a risk of accidents, equipment damage, and injury to personnel. Several types of lifting equipment can be used such as chain slings, wire slings, and webbing slings. For those who are new to the field of lifting, it is essential to familiarize yourself with this computation. How to calculate the sling reduction factor? This is the sample of sling reduction angle chart. The reduction factor that needs to be taken into account for the safe working load SWL, of a sling is determined based on the angle of the sling from the horizontal. The sling reduction factor, also known as the sling angle factor or sling efficiency factor, is a coefficient used to adjust the rated capacity of a lifting sling based on the angle formed between the sling and the horizontal plane. This factor accounts for the increased tension and stress experienced by the sling when it is used at an angle rather than in a purely vertical lift. Typically, Manufacturers provide tables or charts indicating the reduction factors for different sling angles. Example Let us determine the capacity of the sling when using a single vertical hitch. I apologize for the photo appearing bent but for the purposes of this example, let's assume it is straight. Assuming the safe working load SWL, of the sling is 10 tons. Determine the sling reduction factor by referring to the chart. The sling reduction factor is 1 for 90 degree angle. By multiplying the safe working load SWL, with the sling reduction factor, we can get the new SWL of the sling. Because of the sling is 90 degree, there is no reduction factor applied to it. Next. What about using the two bridle leg to lift the load? The safe working load SWL, of the sling is decreasing as a result of the sling angle. However, how can we determine the angle? In order to determine the angle of the sling, it is necessary to identify both the rigging length and the distance between the lifting point and the load center of gravity. Here is the formula we will utilize for our computation. Example, the distance from the lifting point to the center of gravity, also known as D2, is 5 meters. The total length of the rigging is 10 meters. To determine the sling angle, divide the D2 over rigging length or S2, and multiply by arc cosine. Next. Now we know the sling angle. Assuming the safe working load, SWL, of the sling is 10 tons. Determine the sling reduction factor by referring to the chart. The sling reduction factor is 0.866 for 60 degree angle. By multiplying the safe working load, SWL, with the sling reduction factor, we can get the new SWL of the sling. At 60 degree angle of the sling, the new SWL is reduced to 8.66 ton. Next. How about when dealing with four, lifting point and combined angle? The formula we will utilize is same for the two lifting points. 
the only difference is in the requirement of determining the diagonal length from the load center of gravity to the lifting point. For instance, D2 measures 3 meters, D3 measures 1.8 meters, and the sling's length is 10 meters. The length of the diagonal base can be determined using the formula shown. Once you get the length of diagonal, you can start to calculate the sling angle. To determine the sling angle, divide the D over working length or S2, and multiply by arc cosine. Now we know the sling angle. Determine the sling reduction factor by referring to the chart. The sling reduction factor is 0.940 for 70. By multiplying the safe working load, SWL, with the sling reduction factor, we can get the new SWL of the sling. At 70 degree angle of the sling, the new SWL is reduced to 9.4 ton. How about when the angle is fall between this angle? How to determine the reduction factor? Let us assume the rigging length that we plan to utilize is 6 meter with 18 ton safe working load, and shackle is 25 ton with length 178 millimeters. We can determine the sling angle based on rigging length and the distance of lifting point to center of gravity. But the angle is fall in between 70 degree to 75 degree. What is sling reduction factor? To able to determine the sling reduction factor, we need to do few step. First, find the height of the sling. Calculate the sling height base in the given formula. After determining the height of the sling, we can now proceed with computing the reduction factor based on the following formula. The reduction factor is obtained by dividing the height of the sling by its length. Having determined the reduction factor, you may calculate the new safe working load SWL, of the sling by multiplying the original SWL by the reduction factor, based on the sling angle. Example. Given that the load is 25 tons, we will now determine the vertical load on the lifting lug and the tension in the sling. Let us verify the safety of the sling we suggested for lifting this load. This calculation is similar to all of my previous video. If you haven't watched it yet, the video link in the description. Based in the calculation, the sling tension is 13.46 ton in each sling. New SWL for our sling base on the angle is 17.04 ton. To get the safety of our sling, new SWL divided by tension. How about the choker hitch, and basket hitch? In continuation of this video, I will show you how to calculate this. <laughs> 